So welcome back to developing our HTML5 based Android app. I'm Victor Campos. So far what we've got is the icon for our application right here. And when you launch the application, you get the splash screen with your icon as well. Your logo looks good. And then after that, the app starts and so forth. Well, what I don't like is that this still says example, doesn't it? And if you look at your app list, it's still listed as example. Let's go ahead and fix that. This is actually a reiteration from an earlier video, but it's good to, uh, to do it again. So I'm gonna go back to Eclipse. I've gotta change several, uh, I've gotta change four pieces of info in my application. I'm gonna close all of my currently open files. The first thing that I want to change is the name in the package explorer. This is just an internal name. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but I don't want this to be called um, uh, example anymore. So I'll need to right click, refactor, rename, and we can call this um, the campus app. So I'll click OK. It may uh, give you some sort of a result, positive or negative. That's fine. I'm going to continue. OK. So then uh, that name has been changed. Next, I need to change the name that's inside this source folder that still references org.apache.cordova.example so in that case we will right click refactor rename and there select and there it will type uh, com dot your last name dot the name of the app which in my case is the campus app I'm gonna copy that because I'm gonna use it again a little later and I'll click OK that's been renamed then I'm gonna open the Android manifest XML file in the root double click that that has a reference to the old name change that and then save the file it might ask you about launch configurations go ahead and say yes that means you're changing your your project and the launch configuration might lose track of it we can fix that Go ahead and save that. And then the last spot that we will be changing is in the uh, res values strings app name still has the name example. Let's change that to the campus app. Here we can use spaces and capitalization and such. So I'm going to save. I'm going to select my run configuration. That problem, um, you might run into a bunch of problems when you rename this stuff, but here's some issues. Here's some ways we can solve this. Uh, I'm going to select first of all my run configurations, and that one that was previously worked. I'm going to delete it. I could I could fix it, but I'm going to delete it just to show you what's going on here. I'm going to create another project and let me just call this ABD browse there's the new project name target always prompt just like we've done before go ahead and run all right so then I'm going to select my virtual device This launched as normal. When I go back to the home screen and look at my apps, I'm going to look alphabetically the Campus app. There it is. So it's still got example on the home screen, but that's because notice it still leaves the original example project 
in addition to adding the brand new one that we created. So just like a real device, I can delete my apps. I'm going to tap and hold example, drag it over to my uninstall, confirm, uninstall finished. There's my new current app in the app list. I'll drag that to the desktop, my home screen, and here it is. Notice, of course, the name of it is a bit long, so it cuts off there. In my app list, it looks fine, but this is something that depends on devices. So I can launch it. And there's my project. It's got the name that I want, the icon that I want, the branding that I want. The app is just about done. Come back for the next video and we'll see what else we can do.